New at 6, the city of Keokuk has a problem. Five <laughs> traffic lights on Main Street are almost obsolete. And that leaves the city with a choice to make. Spend thousands of dollars to upgrade those lights or remove them as recommended by a study from the Iowa Department of Transportation. But first, they want your input. WGEM's Blake Salmon has more. Dylan and McKenzie, I talked to City Administrator Cole O'Donnell today. He says when it comes to the question of removing traffic lights here on Main Street from 5th, 6th, 8th, 9th, and 10th Streets, so far the answer has overwhelmingly been no. The problem is the lights controllers date back almost 40 years. It tells it when to turn uh, red on one direction and green on the other direction. Uh, otherwise, they basically they would flash, uh, flash red and you just have fancy stop signs. O'Donnell says they're not cheap to replace. They're running about fifteen dollars to $16,000 a piece. But businesses up and down Main Street say the cost of removing them would be much higher. They say speeding is already a problem. We already have a lot of traffic that is moving pretty quick out there. They say removing the lights could put pedestrians in a dangerous situation. And I just think it's just an open opportunity for them to go too fast. We have an, an elderly um, building across the street from us and they walk. We have, um, we have walkers, you know, on Main Street that walk a lot. They say reduced foot traffic on Main Street would mean fewer shoppers through their doors. They're going to have to guess when they can run across, when not to. The stoplights at least gives them walk or not walk. O'Donnell says there have been some comments in favor. They're all along the lines of the, the less traffic movements that are traffic lights that you can have, the better. But he says the negatives outweigh the positives so heavily he's moved the issue up to this Thursday's work session. We might as well just go ahead and get it taken care of. O'Donnell says if you're looking to make a public comment, you can either call City Hall or email your comment directly to him. Blake Salmon, WGEM News, Keokuk.